we actually got in. Wow, I wasn't really expecting that at all. What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and there have been some concerns that face unlock on the Galaxy S10 and Galaxy S10 Plus are not very secure, and even when you add a face to your face unlock on these devices, you do get a warning saying that it is not the most secure way to lock down your phone, and that it can be spoofed with something as simple as a picture. That is kind of concerning. Is the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner any safer on the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus? Can it be hacked? Is there maybe a way that you could cast someone's fingerprint and still get into their phone without having their actual fingerprint? We're gonna see how hackable the Galaxy S10 fingerprint scanner is. Let's go ahead and get started. The Galaxy S10e has one of the fastest fingerprint scanners that has ever been on a phone. I mean, it's super fast, super accurate, and it's gonna open up your phone every time, but can it be hacked? The Galaxy S10 Plus, same thing, has a great fingerprint scanner that works really great. It's a little bit slower than the S10 e fingerprint scanner, but I found it to be super accurate and pretty quick overall, and it works pretty much every time for me, even with this white stone dome screen protector. But, can it be hacked? I have a feeling that with the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, because it does use 3D imaging, and I'm not really sure that it can be hacked, but we're going to try it out anyhow. So I have here several castings of my index fingerprint. And the way that I was able to make these is that I took some super glue and I let it cool off just a little bit. And then I made a fingerprint. So that was my reverse fingerprint in order to get something like this, which is more or less a copy of my fingerprint. I just added a little bit of Elmer's glue to the top of my reverse fingerprint and let that sit overnight. Once everything was dry and cured, I was able to peel off these fingerprints from the reverse fingerprint casting. Now, theoretically, someone could do this to you while you're sleeping since it only takes one or two seconds. We'll try this first on the Pixel 3 XL. It does have a capacitive fingerprint scanner, which may be more susceptible to hacking. Uh, just so you guys can see here that I didn't program the fingerprint castings here. I will go ahead and just reset my fingerprint scanner settings. All right, so I'll go ahead and delete both of these. And I will add my index finger, which is the same finger that I used in the fingerprint casting. All right, so now I'll go ahead and lock it and I'll use the best fingerprint that I have. All right, so we'll put this on another finger, the middle finger here, and we'll try to see if we can get it to unlock. And just like that, it unlocks. So you can see that we're able to unlock the phone. I'll just show you my middle finger here won't unlock it without the makeshift fingerprint. So on the capacitive fingerprint scanner, it is hackable by simply making a fingerprint casting. We have another capacitive style fingerprint scanner on the side of the S10e. I'll go ahead and reset my fingerprints on this phone as well. Let's go to the biometrics here. We'll go to the fingerprints and I'll go ahead and delete all of these. We'll remove that and remove that. And I'll go ahead and add my index finger once more. All right, just continue and adding the fingerprint. So now that that fingerprint is added, we can easily unlock with the fingerprint. I'll go with my middle finger once again here. We'll see if we can unlock it. It's telling me to cover the entire fingerprint scanner. And it's not giving me a match. Try it one more time. All right, so on the S10e, the fingerprint casting is not going to work. Now we'll try it on the Galaxy S10 Plus. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'll reset all my fingerprints here. Let's go ahead and delete the ones that are already there. And then I'm going to just add my index finger. All right, so now that that fingerprint is added, I'm able to unlock with that fingerprint. We're gonna try it 
with our fingerprint casting. All right, so I'll put that on the middle finger. It's telling me it's not a match. Try again, no match, rotate it. Hey, we actually got in. Wow, I wasn't really expecting that at all. Let's see if we could do that again. So with the middle, middle finger here, that's not been registered. We'll try that one more time and see if we can get in. And we're able to get in. So you can actually hack the S10 Plus fingerprint scanner, just so you guys can see here. The only fingerprint that I have added is the one fingerprint that we added earlier, the index finger, and I'm able to unlock with this fingerprint casting. So it looks like the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner is still susceptible to hacking and you can actually get into someone else's uh, Galaxy S10 Plus if they're using that ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. Anyways, that about wraps it up for this video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time a new video comes out. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.